Allen, Stafford slick, put an end to all that with a hard driven ball. Good story for Billy and Stafford. This is um, a really good result for them. And for Billy Allen, it will be his best ever finish on the FIVB circuit. He's had four ninth places, but I can't help but think the worst he can do now is third. And the best, of course, is gold. So for Billy Allen and his fans, really great weekend. And Stafford slick as well, the 34-year-old, looking forward to a big finish. So... Italy, USA, one all. Carambula, the left-hander of the two Italians in the red. Boy, oh boy, Rossi, though, just gave him a beautiful, sneaky little transition set, and the Americans were caught a little flat-footed. I don't think they were expecting that sort of pace to come back on the ball. Well, I wonder if the Italians can keep the momentum going from their quarterfinal match, where they beat Haydn and his partner quite convincingly from the USA as the lefty again pounding look, that ball hard. It looks like they have. They've had a couple of hours break, but it looks like they're still on a high. They're still running that fast offense. Crazy sky balls. Going to make it hard for the USA here. Absolutely. The scoreboard 3-2 Italy. They are in the red, as we've said, at the bottom of the screen. Team USA in the blue. The combination of Billy Allen and Stafford Slicker, the 37-year-old Billy Allen and Stafford 34, so they're well seasoned. Stafford coming off uh, a career best third place at the FIVB event in Tokyo last year, so he's in some recent form. But again, we see early season this partnership revolving door that happens all around the beach volleyball world. So, you know, they're a reasonably new combination. Let, let's see how they gel. Well, that was a revolving backdoor play, that one. <laughs> right out to the pin from the middle of the court. Incredible back set. I don't think I've seen those fast back sets from any other team this weekend. People play fast front sets, and of course this crazy sky ball. That's going to miss, though. I think it's the first one I can recall today that he's missed Carambula. Adrian Carambula, the Italian, has made that serve his own, and uh, some volleyball purists out there I think probably cringe when they see it, but it's his thing, it's his jam, and he's... He's largely made it work, so, you know, he's uh, one win away from a gold medal match. I'm not going to criticise anything that man does. Well, I was talking to John Hyden, who was on the receiving end of a lot of those sky balls earlier in the quarterfinal, and he, I asked him if it was difficult. He said, in windy conditions, yes, but there just hasn't been the same wind. So they didn't find it too difficult. Oh, <laughs> That's a beautiful goodness. hit from Stafford Slick. Oh, my gosh. And he's asking so the come crowd. On, come on, people. Give me something. <laughs> Give me something. Yeah, he wants to get the crowd into this because the Italians have got a lot of support just because of their kind of feistiness and all the crazy kind of really fantastic plays that they make. So it's good for Slick to get the crowd yeah, behind him. Just get uh, a bit of recruitment there on the back of a hard-driven ball. Here's a nice transition opportunity. The U.S. are going to have to just chisel it around. Rossi and Karambula. It is, of course, the lefty. He's such a magician. He can really just find angles. That left hand, it looks ungainly to a lot of people, but he finds a lot of winners when he's in difficult positions. So five all. It's an interesting start. Karambula will go back to this is the northern end of the beach. You can see the, the breeze in the flags. Maybe he's serving a little bit into it, so that might give him something, but... USA, pretty solid in serve-receive, and they get it done. So there you go. Yeah, it's been an interesting morning. We've seen the men and women play now. We're down to final semi-final. This is semi-final number two. It is the number 25 seeds from Italy, Rossi and Karambula, up against the number five seeded Slick and Allen from the United States of America. This is the US combination. And there's that front set. Now, I've got to say that that front set with the back play was invented by Mr. Stephen Anderson. Wow. He's from the United States. He coached us. He introduced that way back almost 20 years ago, and I have not seen it come out the since we used it. Wow. So it's fantastic to see the Italians play with it. The spiker is a decoy runner in a <laughs> yes. one-man offense. And he sets it straight over. He actually, we saw, they shouldn't be surprised. Um, we saw Enrico Rossi do that once or twice in the, in the former, the quarterfinal against the other Americans. So uh, I wonder if they've got any more tricks that they've been sitting on um, because they've done some, some wonderful things. So it is 7-6 now. Italy serving from the southern end of the beach. That's the service error from the United States. So 7 all. Billy Allen, Stafford Slick. The taller of the two is Stafford. He's 6-8. Billy Allen, 
a more humble 6 2. Oh. It's just breathtaking the, the different skills and the different applications to the skills that this man has. Adrian Karambula finds an ace where perhaps there shouldn't have been one. So 9-7 going for a jump serve. That one gets well out of his arc. Just trying to mix it up a little. His, uh, his high sky balls weren't really troubling the US pair. Let's see what Alan can do with this ball. Well read defensively. Uh, and in the cross court, that's much better. That will give Billy Allen a lot of confidence. Waited really late, made a defensive decision, and paid off. And he executed it beautifully. So just helped to work him into this game. Obviously, they're all feeling some degree of nerves at the semi final. And that pass deliberately sent to the net. The Italians to play that ball on two. And of course, they get that touch. Get a chance to make another point. Nice to see a moment of under the net two athletes from the two nations colliding shaking hands shaking it off oh no hand shaking here it's ground shaking blocking the wonderful wonderful Rico Rossi 25 year old stands 6 5 really solid block and then he'll go back and serve oh, the jump set is absolute perfection but it's an You're up. Wow. Kidding stop me. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop. Play of the day. Rossi with that dig. Unbelievable. Now we've seen it all. Hard driven ball with no block there. A defensive pickup par excellence. And then Karambula puts it away. But Enrico Rossi, goodness gracious me. We, we said if they got anything left in their bag of tricks and they take it up a level. Well, we saw these guys just dominate the, the U.S. in the, the quarterfinal, and they just, like you said, they have got a bag of tricks. They're so good at so many things, but they're exceptional at those little things, their touch on the ball, their creativity. They're not too excited. Look, they're still focused. So they people in the crowd are still talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Was it his arms? In beach volleyball, folks, if, you, if you're not across all of the rules, the entire body is your canvas, and we've got a few... Renaissance masters here in Rossi and Karambula, they are painting a delightful picture. Doesn't matter if it comes off your foot or your face, you've got to keep the ball in the air. It's just some pure reflexes brilliant. So 12 9 at the back of the technical timeout. Men's semi final number one just came alive here at Manly Beach. Opportunity again for the Italians. What sort of craft has Karambula got? Well, he has got it all. He is absolutely dominating in every facet. There's no way he should hit a clean winner from that circumstance, but he just finds a way. Running on confidence now, Italy. Another trouble pass from the Americans. Slick gets up. He gets up and he makes sure to get it right past Rossi's block this time. Very sharp angle. Yeah, you know when Slick's made good contact with the ball, it just makes that delightful sound off the hand and yeah. often the delightful sound out of the sand as well. So we're giving plenty of confidence. This is Stafford Slick serving. Southern end of Manly Beach. They're trial by three, though. 10-13. Rossi and Karambula are still delighting the crowds here at Manly Beach, and I'm sure all around the volleyball universe. Is their opportunity to transition Karambula? What sort of skills can we see this time? Oh, it's the inch-perfect roll shot that slithers along the tape. <laughs> Rossi's standing there with his hands on hips going, I don't believe what I'm seeing. It's a Karambula masterclass. Let's see what stratospheric heights his serve can. Oh, no, he mixes it up with the jump serve. Catches it all flat. Oh, not the Americans, they handle it pretty well. Slick and Allen. And that's hard, isn't it, Kerry? The, the other team are doing some amazing things, and you need to focus a little bit on what they're doing. You also don't want to be too distracted. You want to try and focus on your game, don't you? Absolutely. And when one team gets that momentum sometimes, it just it's tough to break their momentum, their, their confidence, their focus. Look at that. So much confidence oh making goodness. that set and that run. 
I didn't even hear the call. I didn't see a hand signal. It was just Italian telepathy just to say, I'll be there, just get it to me. I, I just have no idea how they made that connection. It's the first time they've played an FIVB tournament together before. My stats tell me the truth. It looks like they've been playing together for years. Perhaps they've lucked out on this combination. Rossi and Karambula. They face the side out now to go for a bigger lead here in this first set. Men's semi-final number two. Another great fast play out to the stick, to the antenna. And, of course, that line shot is one of the favoured shots off that play. And you saw that uh, Billy Allen was actually on it, but just it was just too good. They don't make a lot of errors, the Italians, for such a high-risk strategy, such a high-risk style. They don't seem to be making the errors that you would expect a lot of athletes to make when they're trying for these players. So it's been quite compelling, and I guess a reason why they're one win away from the goal medal match potential. That's nice play for Stefan. Alan that time having a good look from the middle of the court, seeing which way the defender was running and just able to easily shoot it, pop it to the right side. Still in this first set, a couple of blocks. Stafford Slick would be nice. Or a dig. Defensive play. What a shame. And they're the sorts of balls the Italians have been somehow able to sort of drag back into their court with the Team USA. They just couldn't control it. You see Rossi standing there in the middle. He's ready to run to the net block for his team. Wants to put the pressure on with the serve. But easy dig from the US. Oh, big bang that time. Stafford Slick. Is not on my court. That gives me a little bit of comfort that the hard-driven ball off a great set has still got a role to play against the Italians. They seem to have an answer for doing everything. Well, the as well as the Oh, please. He is painting the Sistine Chapel, and it is a masterpiece. Look at that. The brush strokes are perfect. It is a flawless display by a Renaissance master, Karen Bula, uh, run out of superlatives. He is absolutely on top of his game right now. Rossi knew that was his fault. He had his hands on that ball that went right between his hands. But that's okay. They've still got a good lead here. They can maintain this lead all the way through to the end of the set. We go to 21 points in the first two set. If we need a third set, we go to 15. So 21 first will win the set. Gosh. There it is again. A little bit of a uh, little bit of flair. A little bit of indoor, maybe quick set through the middle. Just the, roll deep. The fakey where you approach at top speed for the short set and then you stop and wait for the blocker to commit and then you go up. They seem to have. Such a wonderful set of skills. They haven't played two points the same all day. I, I swear to you, folks, if you're watching this around the world, this has been just an absolutely breathtaking last two matches by Karambula and Rossi. And on the back of this fantastic, magnificent play, 2015, they've got five set points, and Alan and Slick are wondering what has happened. All of a sudden, it is a set point serve. To be saved one. Now they've got to face this offense here. What are they going to do? And I think you nailed it there, John, is that every single side out looks completely different. There's, there's no rhythm that the Italians are giving the Americans to get into that they can kind of read the play or set up some sort of strategy. Well, that's not going to help. Wow. That gives them the first set. So, Italy... Swagger. They are swaggering off the court. I, I swear an espresso has been delivered to them. They couldn't be more Italian and more full of pride right now. That is a clinical 21-16 performance for Stafford Slick and Billy Allen. They've just got to lock that one away and forget about it and come out and play their best game. The winner, of course, goes through to the gold medal match. And we know already that there is a combination of from Chile. The Grimold brothers are waiting for the winner of this match. 
due to that unfortunate injury that, that occurred to the French athlete Yusuf Crew. You know, the Chilean combination are largely have got a walkover into the gold medal match, and that's a shame. So they'll be the, they'll be watching this match oh, with yeah. interest. They'll be trying to work out if Italy do get through how to play them. They'll be probably taking video and they'll be watching that tonight with their dinner. But Rome wasn't built in a day. And well, the Italians, well, they've had a great day so far. But let's see what the Americans do. Can they fight back? Well, let's hope they're not fiddling while Rome burns, Kerry. Because at the moment, the Italians are absolutely on fire. The second set, men's semi-final number two about to get underway. The Italians are putting on a master class in any language them on the left of screen. See Slick and Allen can find a new groove. And this time they're using a little bit of flair with the fast set outside as well from a from a short serve. So the Italians wanting to get Slick nice and close to the net now. now Slick turn, Slick's turn to try and follow this block. Here it is again. That's a good dig. Second opportunity. Too easy and for Slick he was kind of he didn't know what to do. Do I stay on the first athlete? Do I go to the second athlete? In the end, he stayed nowhere. Billy Allen made a really solid defensive play, but Slick was caught in two minds, and that is the mental pressure that the Italians have really kind of messed with them. And there they are on the sharp angle. Just played Billy Allen. He's read it well. Oh, just delightful. Of course it's in. Of course it is. He brought that line from home. Karen Bula and Rossi are playing with a level of swagger that I've not seen for a long, long time. And the crowd are eating out of their hands. Another short serve on Stafford Slick. He has a look. He sees the opening, so that's a good play. He doesn't have to go up there and hit it hard every single time. It's a struggle for him to come forward so sharp. That serve drops right over the net. Scoreboard two all. Set to love the important statistic. Rossi picked up off the block. Second attempt. Drops it perfectly. Good touch by the big guy, Rossi, at the net. We focused a lot on Karen Buller and his range of shots, but that reaction from Rossi to dig the ball off the block and look at that play is, uh, is mighty good. So it's a wonderful play by the 25 year old. can't forget too that the Italians have come through the qualifiers so they've had a couple of extra matches that the Americans haven't played but they're just they're on fire they must like food here in Italy maybe they've been to all our beautiful Italian restaurants fueling up overnight come out firing today uh, not this time they're gonna pay the ultimate price yeah they are and they knew it too they set up that play beautifully in the first set, but I think they telegraphed it a little bit. And all credit to Billy Allen. He read this really well. He said, not on my watch. I'm going to take you down and put it up for Stafford and said, come on, mate, make them pay. And pay they did. So I think, well, I don't know. You can't pick the Italians. I would think they might put that play away. But, but how would you ever know what's going through their minds? And the ace to back it up is powerful for the USA. So 5-3, okay, a bit of a complexion change here as the shadows get a bit deeper. USA finding some things starting to turn their way. Nicely played off the block. Power off the block that time. Probably got about 45 an hour left of really good light. So I'm sure these, both these teams want to get out here as quickly as possible, but the US, they're one set down. They have to win this step, set to stay alive in this semi-final. I should point out the match started at 5.30 local time. Here, so we usually get good playable light to about 7, 7.30. So it is a bit overcast, which is probably not helping conditions, but it's absolutely fine out there. So nice defensive read there by the Italian. Rico Rossi took a first place at the FIVB event in Al Smear last year, the 2018 event. So he's found the top of the podium to his liking recently, so I'm sure he'll be motivated to 
Try and get back there again. The transition, though, is just breathtaking in, in its bravery. You know you've got a massive blocker on the other side of the net, but you're still trying to put your partner as close as possible in that transition uh, and made that shot really easy for you. Though in the net, a couple of uncharacteristic service errors, but it's something just a couple of in the last few minutes. So USA back with the ball. Lee Allen gets out Rossi. He uh, drills the ball beautifully off the block, so even that just, I guess, traditional linear dig set spike up against the big block, the Italians have got an answer for that play as well. So. Nothing in the second set. The Italians just recapping, winning a breathtaking and captivating first set in men. Semi final number two. The winner of this match to face the Chilean brothers. Remolt in the gold medal match tomorrow. There it is. Karambula. We like that. Yeah, he had plenty of time to have a look on that set. It was nice and high. He didn't have to go power. He could just drive it nice and deep. He's got the finesse, he's got the power, he's got the cheekiness, he's got the crazy sky ball serve, he's got a top spin jump serve, he's got a float. This guy's shown us all of his game in this semi final. Here's the jump float. Wow. Almost, but not quite. It was a nice dig set spike, I saw. Stephen Slick really commit to his leap and really commit to his arm swing. Get it through, so 9 6, the Italians. Take control of the second set here in the mid stages. Go back to Slick. Again, the block is strong from Rossi and the opportunity. So that one, yeah, that one just out for the Americans. Forces them into a timeout situation, folks. A run of really tough points at the net, particularly Rossi being quite important. Sees the team USA, Stafford Slick and Billy Allen falling. Timeout. Uh, down one set to love in semi final number two, trailing 10 6 in the second. And a combination that has just come together this year. This is the time that they we've seen them obviously here in Australia together but they played a lot together but they certainly have found a lot in each other. They've both been on the tour for five seasons. Both played around 25, 35 matches a piece. Oh sorry, a tournaments a piece. So they've had a fair bit of experience with other partners and maybe they've just found their groove. It's always nice to have a left hander and a right hander playing together. Couldn't agree more. What a beautifully balanced team they are. So, Enrico Rossi, Adrian Tarambula, the Italian combination, leading one set to low over the Billy Allen, Stafford Slick, leading 10 6 in the second. Tarambula starting up against Stafford Slick, gets an opportunity to swing away, and he does a much better job of that one. Takes on the block, kind of went through the block, from what I can tell. What can Stafford do? Squeak out some points on the serve. That will not assist his mindset. That's a shame. So 11 7. Perhaps rushing that serve a little bit. You know, you see he has to run into the net to block, just like Rossi's going to do now, but just rushing his serve, dragging it down. Rossi better there. Nice deep middle serve. Billy Allen, though. Nice craft to just chisel that ball away cross court. Very similar kind of structural teams, aren't they? The tall and the short. A dedicated blocker, dedicated defender. So they both have a similar set of setup and height. There's no massive height advantage. But the advantage at the moment is the ball control and the creativity and the vision of the Italians is, is really cut above. Super hard to block because you're not sure where the play is going to end up. Super hard to then defend when a blocker is moving at the last moment. This is a more general up and down play from the US. 
successfully down the line, but you could see that Karambula was even on that ball. He touched it, and that's got to play with the minds of the Americans. They're thinking, you know, okay, I won that point, but he's there. Next time, maybe he'll get it. Absolutely, nine points to 12. If anything, with Karambula, I thought maybe he'd play a little bit deep defensively on that occasion. Up against such a tall spike that we can see the American guys, Allen and Slick, deep in discussion where the Italians a little bit a little bit of conversation but I just I'm trying to work out their communication on court how they are calling their plays how they are creating the opportunities they're creating there's no clear tell they just seem to pull a play out and connect perfectly Slick the only one now choosing to wear the sunglasses decent set of sunglasses. They're almost like goggles. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're made to stay on. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a blocker that gets as much of your face over there as uh, Stafford Slick does, there might be a safety aspect to it as well. But he kind of likes that if you're going to jump as high as he does and really push forward. You're not going to lose your sunglasses. If you get hit in the face, they stay on. There's nothing worse than copying the ball in the face and losing the sun. He's midpoint. He's still got a test of rally, so that might be part of his thought process. touch. Another opportunity, Fakie. Oh, another opportunity, but off the block that time, off his head. We talked about his well, sunglasses, off his sunglasses. They could also be prescription glasses as well, which is why he has to keep them on. So, you know, a lot of these players, it's difficult sometimes to play with contact. So, whether that's why he, he's keeping them on, and it's not the sky is not that bright. No, no, the light is dull at best. Sparkling volleyball of the Italians is far from goal. That, that is a breathtaking get. And can he cut it? Yeah, he sure can. Karambula, he's been quiet for a few minutes now, and he's a bit worried that it, his partner Enrico Rossi was getting all of the spotlight. So he just pulls out this unbelievable layout one armor and cuts the left arm inside out and down the line for a 14 9 scoreboard and sets the crowd alight once again. Deep swing over the defender's head with the corners. So Billy Allen, the number two of the USA, the defensive player, searching with his serve. And Karambula. Nerveless, they've, they've gone at him a bit. They've sort of shared the serving between Rossi and Karambula. They both have had answers. Just cut and sand. Look at him, he's just getting the impression this is exactly where he wants to be, exactly the moment in his life that he wants to embrace. He's sandy, he's playing with his mate for his country on a semi final on the world tour. That was a great textbook back set, swing hard cross court. So really using his height and strength. And it was the women that started back-setting well before men did on the world too. It's like Paul Potas, for example, started <laughs> using that variety. And men used to turn their noses up at that sort of craziness. You know, they've embraced it. Viva the women on the international world too. Big quality ball, I see. Oh, no matter what it's going to be. Rico Rossi going back 16-11, one set to love. It's going to take something really special now. Slick and Allen have got their backs against the wall. They need to find something to fight out. Delicate roll shot. Doesn't give you that emotional satisfaction, <laughs> but it gives you the scoreboard satisfaction. Yeah, it certainly does, and it just keeps mixing it up. I would stay with my strength at this stage. The, the Italians are so confident. You know, winning a... Winning a soft shot, it's not going to take anything away from them. I think the Americans really need to take them on, maybe fight with that aggression. Muscle up. Muscle up, maybe. maybe get a bit more animated, perhaps, make some noise. They're so quiet and polite. It's Billy and Stafford have been well raised and a credit to their families. <laughs> but we need a bit of mongrel out there on centre court right now, Kerry, is what you're calling for. We need something to fire up. There's a lot of American fans in the crowd. They have been largely silenced by this Italian juggernaut job set it's a good one. Oh, that is just such a delightful play technically so hard so pretty to watch well it is hard because they're doing it all along the net they're not just doing it to a position it's almost just a certain position away from each other and they really trust each other but Rossi has a really big hit hitting window so Karen Buller just puts it in the air and Rossi's just there Absolutely. 
sets. So very good. 17 12. It's a nice roll shot. So more of that required. As you say, Kerry, we haven't really seen maximum aggression for the US. So maybe that's not their style. Maybe they're careful and considered. But certainly the, uh, the battle of the machismo is being won by the Italians. The, the testosterone is uh, absolutely all on the Italian side at the moment. Let's see if they can delight the crowd again. Yeah, they sure can. They sure can. 18 13 now. If nothing changes, the Italians are basically on a gondola ride down to the gold medal match. They are absolutely in control of the seventh set. It's always served out. <laughs> it's always the commentator's curse, isn't, isn't it? it? You talk them up and then they make a mistake. We apologise. <laughs> Italians cursing at their screens everywhere to speak. 14 18, USA. What a set. What wow. a set. I would hasten to say he was an indoor setter. Just the style, the composure, and Rossi coming around behind, just feeling his partner. He was, he's right there. It's very still conditions. There's not a lot of breeze. I don't know how they changed their game if the wind's howling, but they are playing perfectly for the conditions. Uh, and they are reaping the rewards. 19 14, a little bit of luck. Team USA. They probably feel like they deserved one. So 15-19, gosh, the time is now. With Billy Allen and Stafford Slick, they need to find a little bit of pixie dust, a bit of magic of their own, and they need to find it right now. One more point to the team from Italy, and they will have much points. Plenty of them. And they have got them. 20 points to 15 on the side change. Can anything stop Enrico Rossi and Adrian Carambula from making it to the gold medal match? Billy Allen and Stafford Slick look to be witnesses to this contest. They don't feel like they can influence it in any big way. Here's their chance. Can they save a match point? Sure can. <laughs> Stafford Slick just wanting one perhaps last big swing. Knows that um, it's going to be pretty pretty difficult from here. So Alrighty. now with another match point. Four match points remain for Rossi and Karambula. One good dig set spike or whatever they play. One good delightful action. And they are through to the gold medal match. Semi-final number two is officially over. Karambula embraces the opposition. And Enrico Rossi, Adrian Carambula from Italy have absolutely delighted the crowd. Commiserations for Billy Allen and Stafford Slick. They will go to what we believe will be a bronze medal match. Some question mark over whether that match will be played tomorrow. That may be a guaranteed bronze medal for the US. We do not know. More of that later. But for now, semi-final number two has been done and won. We can confirm that the gold medal match is going to be between the combination from Chile, the number two seeds, Grimault and Grimault, the brothers, and they'll be playing the number 25 seeds from Italy, Enrico Rossi and Adrian Carambula in what will be a delightful match tomorrow. For now, on behalf of Kerry Podast and all the crew here at Sydney, this has been semi-final number two and the FIVB three-star event here at beautiful Manly Beach. Come back and join us tomorrow, please, for all the medal action.